So over here, you can see that I got a project and I have slide one, I got slide two, and I got slide three right over here with different contents in it. So over here, if I were to go to properties, I will also rename the slide. So this is slide one, this is slide two, and this is slide three. And you have to make sure that you give a proper name over here onto the slide if you're going to work with table of contents. So now what, what we're going to do is we're going to enable table of contents so that our learners are able to access it uh, interactively. So to do that, you have to go to project right over here and then go to table of contents right over here. And in table of contents, you can see right over here that there's three slides, but there's nothing over here. So from over here, you can choose the skin you want to work with. Let's say, for example, let's work with chalkboard right over here. And over here to enable the table of content, you go to show TOC right over here. And then you can see how it'll appear over here on the slide. So over here, what you can do is you can enable and disable certain slides. So you want to hide quizzes and everything, then you can hide those out. But in our case, it's this information slides. So we are just going to work around with that right over here. You can also reset the TOC. For example, if I were to go over here and reset, then everything will be checked off right over here, just like that as well. So I can also go over here and change the uh, location. For example, I can bring the slide three down and so forth. So let me just reset this out, reset TOC so that it's um, all together. You can also create folder right over here, just like this. So you can create a folder and then work around with it as well. So if you were to go to folder, you can see that you can give a topic name right over here and then work around with it. Slide three, create a folder. And then what happens is that you have topics just like this, as you can see, and you can rename the topics from over here as well. So you can say something like section one, and this is going to be section two right over here. So what happens is that the sections are divided just like that. You can also enable and disable these out as well. So you got slide and everything. So you can go over here and type in something like introduction. You can rename it as you can see right over here. So description, something like this, description and slide three. Let's say this is conclusion, right? You can also rename it out according to what you want, just like that. There's like information that you can add in as well, like title, name, designation, and email, but this does not usually show up right over there. So it's just for your personal reference, as you can see. So you can move the uh, table of content entirely onto the right as well, as you can see, so that what happens is that now subtopics are made accordingly, as you can see. So you can move these onto the right, and what happens is that subtopics are actually made out. Let me just reset the TOC altogether. So you can go over here, you can see that the topics are actually here, just like that. And you can also work around with this uh, and drag it all together. So this can be contracted and expanded right over here. So there's a lot of ways to actually work around. So if you had to go over here and click on move TOC onto the left, then it's moved on to the left side, as you can see. Let me just go over here, move this onto the right. And then this is going to be, let's say, introduction. And this one, this is going to be main content right over here. So these are the ways how you can analyze. Uh, you can also go over here and then just like dragging and dropping, you can go over here, move this up or down as you can see right over here as well, just like that. So you can go around here and work around with it just like that. So you can work around with all of these. You can also go over here and let's say, for example, there's a folder that you don't want. You can also delete that outright over here, but you cannot delete the slides uh, or the uh, for main folder, the main topics, which already contain some slide in them. So these are the options which are provided for you in table of content. There's further settings that you can work on with as well. So you can go to settings and over here, you can change the style on to overlay just like this. So the, it overlays on the slide or it is separate. In responsive design, only the overlay option is available. You can keep it on the right or on the left, as you can see, and you can stretch it out as well as you can see, which stretches out the table of content all the way in right over here. But in our case, let's not just stretch out. You can also work around with the offer. That is, you can make the, tab uh, the table of content transparent if you want to as well. And there's many options that you can choose as well. You can choose, let's say, for example, there's like fonts. You can choose 
uh, different font right over here like the Huma. You can make them bold right over here as well. So you're working with level one text. Now level two texts are these ones right over here. So you can change the font right over here just like that and work around with them as well. So you can make them bold or italicize them right over here. You can also change the color of the headings and so forth from right over here as you can see. So let me just choose yellow right over here. So there's different type of colors that you can choose. You can choose gradients and everything else, just like you would format any uh, shape right over here. And those are uh, the um, those are the options. So you can work around with a lot of things right over here. So once you're happy, just press OK and close this out and you'll have your table of content in your project just like that. So if you were to preview your project, what happens is that there's a table of content on the left side. So if I were to press play, you have the regular slides right over there. There's like menu, which you can expand as you can see according to the topic. And then you can work around with individual slides, click on them and see as well. You can go around and work around with all of the slides as you can see, uh, and even mark them as you can see right over there. So also, if there's a lot of content, users will be able to search. For example, they can search for slide and all the slide will pop up. They can search for one, the slide one will pop up. So it'll be easy for them to navigate as well. You can also clear the status flag. You can see that it's very, very interactive right on the go right over here. So that is how you can work around with table of contents inside of Adobe Captivate. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.